Well, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Moto Origins Feeding the Beast. As you can see, I've got quite a stack of boxes here to open, so uh, let me go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to move a couple of these down and we'll go through them as we get to them. So these two I'm starting with are the oldest that I received a couple of weeks ago. If you watched my previous video, you know I've been waiting on some of these. Um, just tell us more in the mood to get them started. So let's see what do we got here in number box number one. We have all right, Cobra Khan. What a bad dude, man! Badass and Ratlor, one of his henchmen. Very cool. Let's see, I don't think I had either of these as, as a kid. Um, Cobra Con was always one of my, one that I thought was really cool. Does this one actually spray water? I don't think he does. I think he's got a little uh, uh, attachment that goes into his mouth here in the back that green colored, that just, uh, here you can see. Looks like he's spitting out his venom. But uh, yeah, I always thought he was cool that he could, he could pump him and spray water and uh, it was more like a mist. Than a, than a jet of spray, but it was uh, still a really cool figure uh, that they had as a kid. So I never had him, but I think he's really cool. I did not get Camo Con because of the $30 price, and uh, you know, maybe someday I'll get one, hopefully on the used market, if, if I, you know, decide I have room and space for him and all that. So it says on the back, as deceitful as he is dangerous, Cobra Khan uses hypnotic venom to serve his own ambitions. So he's attacking uh, Snake Armor He-Man here. And uh, another person in the back I don't recognize. Looks like a long neck guy, like a mecha neck. Oh wait, I, isn't that Extendor maybe? Some guy named Extendor? Anyway, yeah, so the Snake Men are another uh, villain class. Um, not necessarily associated with... Uh, Skeletor and Snake Mountain, although yeah, they are associated with Snake Mountain. They apparently live underneath it and were the original builders of Snake Mountain, I think is, is some of the legend there. So, uh, yes, in fact, it says in the back, the dreaded Snake Men have arisen from the darkest depths of Snake Mountain. So, anyway, so Cobra Khan, I always thought was the leader, but I guess they got King Hiss, so maybe we'll see him later. Moving on, we got Rattlor, who has the uh, extendable neck attachment, it looks like. So that looks like they've... Uh, Rather than have a mechanism that makes his head go up, they just have a, a, an attachment there. They just take his head off and add uh, replace the long neck. So uh, you know, I think it'd be cool if he was um, if it if it had the action feature, but it's okay that he doesn't. I understand that uh, the action feature would probably cost more to make and and make him less poseable and stuff because then you can't you can't turn him without you know making the action feature happen. So. As far as making videos and stuff goes, these are probably preferable without the action features. So let's see, what does it say here? Uh, we got Rattlor serves as one of King Hiss' most loyal henchmen and general in the Snake Man Army. And again, he's attacking uh, Snake Armor He-Man there. So I think I've already showed you guys Snake Armor He-Man in a different one. He's cool. Uh, so Rattlor, he's got uh, evil creature with a quick strike head. And kind of like his color schemes. Um, he's not exactly like a copperhead snake. Are the copperheads the ones that are uh, what I'm thinking of? That are uh, red, black, and yellow? Or is that, uh, I'm getting, coral snake, I'm sorry, coral snake. So instead of uh, black, he's got kind of a blue, but he's kind of like a coral snake. Red, black, and yellow. Red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. That's what we always said. Uh, and if, if uh, what was it? Red touches black. You're a safe jack. That's a king snake that looks like the coral snake, but is not poisonous. So that's cool. Looks like he has a long tail as well. I forgot about that. That Rattler had a tail, so he kind of goes with whiplash there. So very cool. Glad to have these two figures. Really nifty guys. Uh, let me set them aside for now. Um, this next box may have an identical set. I may have ordered two of, of everything here. We'll see. If it's an identical uh, package, I'll just set it aside and move on to the next ones. And that's what it says here. Looking at the receipt, we've got another beautiful Cobra Con, nice and green and, and uh, red. 
He looks more like a gardener snake. We were talking about snake colors. I don't know if there's many uh, poisonous snakes that look like him. Maybe you guys in Australia can tell me. You guys have all the poisonous snakes out there. <laughs> and another rattler. So we'll just uh, set them aside. We've already gone through them. Okay. Now the next set of boxes. I believe these are the next couple that came in, in order, succession. So we'll get into these. So I'm feeling pretty good about the collection again. A lot of you guys uh, made comments in the comment section are really supportive of, you know, hey, just enjoy your collecting and uh, don't feel bad about it. And I think you're right. You know, we only live once. Enjoy it while we're here. Have a good time. Never know when uh, the whole shit house is going to go up in flames, as uh, old Jim Morrison used to say. So might as well uh, live while we're here. And like we said, just enjoy things and, and not be too critical. So. Looks like we got here Power Punch E-Man. No, Thunder Punch E-Man. I'm sorry, I already had Power Punch E-Man. Oh. So this is a guy I knew nothing about. Didn't even know they ever had one in the original series. These came out so much after I had stopped collecting um, Masters of the Universe figures. So, But I do like him. I think he's got a, a cool uh, chest armor with that the big HM kind of uh, insignia there. And red goes with all his other colors, so he's just in another nice He-Man. I like He-Man variants, I like the white on the boots, kind of like the uh, the Tila that came with Zor had the white on the top of the boots. So that's another nice added feature. Um, he's got the orange belt, but the red bracelet, so that's a little different. And uh, looks like he uh, also fights the Snake Man, according to uh, the cross sell package here. And we can read off the, uh, the graphic. It says. He-Man uses the powers of Grayskull to summon the mega-powered Thunder Punch. So, by the power of Grayskull, I now have the Thunder Punch. So he's got this really cool kind of chrome-plated shield and a golden sword. And obviously the Thunder Punch, um, what do you call that, effect, I guess it says. And it looks like he does have an action figure. Pull him back and he snaps forward. Powerful Thunder Punch. So that's going to be kind of cool. I do like uh, the deluxe figures. It's a little uh, harder to keep them stored. They take up more space, but that's all right. We've got uh, quite a few. I got to still put away with Leech and uh, uh, what's his name? I can't even think of him. The guy looks like an elephant. Um, anyway, we'll get on with it. Don't want to drag this out too long. So it looks like he's fighting a couple of the um, the horde troopers that are the Snake Men horde troopers. So I guess they're coming out soon too. And I'll probably have to get a couple of those just to have a couple of them. Again, yeah, Snake Men I wasn't real into when I was a kid, except for Cobra Con. Um, a lot of them were also after the point where I had given up Masters of the Universe collecting for moving on to more uh, G.I. Joe probably and Transformers and playing uh, computer games and things like that. But uh, anyway, moving along here, I always like this Snake Men. Um, the scales of the plastic, that's cool. That's on these other guys too, so... Very cool. Set him off to the side. He's going to block him off, unfortunately. That's okay. So we may have another identical one here. Nothing to show you, but just another one. And is that right? That is correct. Another Thunder Punch E Man. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you for a Thunder Punch E-Man. Appreciate the present. Uh, very cool to have a double duplicate. That way we can open one and keep one in box forever and ever. And I can uh, open the second box maybe when I'm 70 or 80 or 90 if I make it that long. Or pass them on to someone else. But uh, yeah, hopefully I, I really would like to someday have a um, you know a display room where it looks like a, a Masters of the Universe toy store in there. Just have all of them on uh, you know available for me to purchase, so to say. But uh, that's a that's a big dream. We'll have to see if uh, my dreaming powers are are that um, powerful. If they have the thunder punch abilities. Alright, so let's get on with to the last two. And uh, my guess is, now having seen these, these both arrived today. So that's kind of why I'm finally catching up. Just can't keep all these unopened boxes sitting around. So let's go ahead and, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and cut this one while I'm at it. Do do do. All right, got to that point. 
So, what do we got in this one? Let's set this over here a little bit. This out of the way. Oh, hey! Another deluxe figure. You guys can guess what this one is. King Hiss. Very cool. So, another one I didn't have as a kid. He had that, uh, I guess, a feature where everything popped off of him, his armor, and then he had uh, the King Hiss underneath his armor. Now, I think this is going to be uh, better looking overall, where you have to completely remove his head and arms in order to put these on. Uh, and then maybe his, yeah, his, his armor still comes off to uh, show the snake underneath King Hiss. So he's like a snake man in disguise. Um, yeah, it says Dreadful Disguise Leader of the Snake Men. In fact, this is his name. Dreadful Disguise Leader of the Snake Men. And we have the, uh, the graphic here where he's attacking Snake Armor He-Man again. Freed from imprisonment, King Hiss leads the Snake Men to conquer Eternia. And he's got a Snake, uh, snake Man Tila there, which I uh, just recently saw. Um, I think somebody was saying that they're going to have a Snake... Uh, Snake Tila coming up. That might have been uh, Mega Retro J or uh, uh, some of our other friends that talked about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's a cool looking figure. He's got his, uh, he's got the Snake Men uh, insignia on his chest, which is real neat. Makes sense. He's the king of the Snake Men. He's got scales on his uh, trousers or whatever you call them, his, his undies. He's kind of got scales on his uh, legs and on his arms, actually. He's, he's really quite scaly looking. So, and then, yeah, when he turns into this mass bundle of snakes, then he's really monstrous looking there. And uh, obviously very dangerous to any inhabitants of Eternia, including to Skeletor's faction. So, you know, maybe someday I'll have to have... I thought about it might be fun to have a, a Royal Rumble with um, the Snake Man against the Horde, against uh, Skeletor's crew against the uh, the normal the he man is good guys so sort of four different factions um, or I may not actually be able to manage that in the wrestling ring so maybe I'll just have a uh, a version where they're all you know um, talking at each other like they do with wrestling where they're each uh, taking turns you know intimidating each other and whatnot spewing how they're gonna beat each other up so yeah he comes with this real neat staff it looks like and a shield uh, the colors are a little, uh, I don't know, it's not quite as uh, shiny, but that's okay. I can't complain too much. These look kind of very primary colors, almost like crayons here, all of these. Um, but that, I think it's pretty true to the original, so don't mind too much. That was getting to the point in the 80s, maybe, where they had, you know, uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but I remember when we had cap guns, the Edison cap guns that looked almost identical to real guns. Uh, really cool to play with and they, you know good caps good plastic caps at some point uh, I think uh, a kid was shot by a police officer by uh, pointing one of these fake cap guns at him and so from that point on all the all the uh, toy guns had to be painted in sort of these colors right and uh, I thought they were really ugly and hideous at the time because they didn't look anything like real guns uh, but that was to uh, save kids lives and young you know whippersnappers that were out there pointing their guns at policemen not too wise but you know we are worse kids not always doing the wisest behavior so anyway without further ado let's finally open this this last one and I believe it's no surprise it's another King Hiss so alright I could have done half of these boxes and uh, save you guys some time but that's alright you get to see how uh, my collecting habit is that I like to have two, sometimes three of all these guys. I like to think of someday I'm going to have a, you know them all set up with Castle Grey Skull, and there'll be uh, several of these figures. There'll be two or three of them open, but uh, that would most of them I'll only have two of them open because I'll have if I have a third that would be in the package, um, or if I only have two then I'm only going to have one of them open. So anyway, again I like to have them on card as well as open out of box so uh, I guess you could say I'm a real uh, Motu Origins uh, addict as I say and uh, it's sort of the only one I have that going with all the other ones I, for the most part the G.I. Joe and uh, Star Wars guys I collect most of them are all in box still but at some point when I open them up I'm not gonna have duplicates I'll just have you know one of one of each 
So it'll be nice to unbox a lot of things and then uh, they won't take up as much space on shelf. I think someone mentioned that all oh, my GI Joes up behind me uh, take up a lot of space in their boxes. They would take up you know less than a third the space, maybe a fourth of the space if I took them out of their box. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this this episode of uh, Road to Origins Addiction Feeding. We got all our snake men and our he man here. I guess I should put uh, he man off to the side, but that's all right. Point is made. You can see them all. Here we go. Let's do that real quick. Get the snake men together and he-man off to the side. All right, hopefully that's all showing up in the camera and you get it all. I guess I uh, that's about it. I hope you guys are all enjoying your toy collecting and playing with your toys, etc., etc. Watching other videos about uh, our favorite toys and our favorite nostalgic properties from when we were kids. There sure are a lot of them now that we're getting to this that age. <laughs> so. Uh, that's all for now, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.